I went in there to get you that Mountain Dew, and it was one for two, two for three, or three for five. I'm not sure really what the deal for three for five was, because if you get two for three, that's six for six. It's a dollar a piece. You get one for two, that's an extra dollar, twice as much. Wait a minute, two what? Two for three, no. that's one and a half as much. It's and one for three for five is start over. One for a half. We're going to a sod farm and we're going to do another test with Jack. What's going to happen is Christy's going to be at point A with Jack. I'm going to go to point B, which is a little over a mile, uh, half a mile away, and I'm going to see if Jack will start up from over a half a mile away. And if he does, I'm going to change the home point mid-flight and see if he'll see if the home point can change to where, to my current location uh, while I'm so far away from Jack. So it's going to be pretty neat. We also want to thank Chris Cook. Uh, he's another YouTuber. Thank you. <laughs> He made a video similar to this um, a while back and it just kind of got our wheels turning. Um, but we'll put a link in the description below uh, with his uh, YouTube channel and with the video that he made. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. So make sure that you click over to his channel and check that out. This is Christie's vantage point. <laughs> this is the biggest lawn I've ever sat in. <laughs> Look this? at this. This sod farm is huge. Got the return to return to home altitude set at 118 feet. Got 22 satellites and a strong signal. I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna go to point B and I'm gonna give you a call. Okay. It's not connected now because obvious reasons. I'm in a car. All right, I am at point B. I'm gonna pop the tailgate. Updated. I got a signal back. I got my signal back, which is good. I'm going to pop this up. I'm going to set right here. I'm going to call Christy. Hello? Hello. All right, I'm, I'm here at point B. I am not sure how far away I am because the home point set down there. So... I've got to get the drone up in the air. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit record and record this flight, okay? Okay. It's saying that compass calibration is required again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to have to go back down there and do that again or what. But let me see if uh huh? Nothing. Let me see if it'll get started. You ready? Yeah. Just let me know if it starts up. Okay. I guess we're letting everybody know if it starts up. <laughs> Yes, it did. It started off. The home point has been updated. Huh? Please check yeah. it on the map. It's up? It's up. Very, very cool. All right, so the home point's there. Wow, I can't believe it started up from as far away as we are. So I'm going to change the home point to where I'm at now. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Update home point. And I'm going to click the controller button and hit OK. Home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. That's the first time I've ever done that. So, holy cow, it's 3,800 feet away. 38? Yeah, that's wow. that's well over half a mile. Awesome. All right, so he's still he's still floating. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do a up, down, backwards, forward test real quick. All right, I'm up, I'm down, forward. The screen just got dark on me. Wow, this screen got really dark. Oh, I gotta set in the back of the car so I can even see the screen. I don't know why the screen does that. Does anybody know why these iPhone screens will get really dark? All right, so now all I got to do, I'm going to hit return home and see what happens. You ready? Go ahead. I got the height set for like 118 feet. And return to home. Here we go. Go home.
He's, oh, he's landing now. Here he comes. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to uh, catch him because he's right over a bunch of sand. I'm gonna tap the cancel landing and then catch him. Hey buddy, welcome home. Yes, it worked, honey. I got Jack safe and sound. Cool, don't forget to pick me up down here. <laughs> well, that worked without a hitch. That was about the simplest thing that, that's probably one of the easiest tests that we've done so far. We want to throw a big thank you out to Tater Farms, and uh, we really do appreciate you guys opening up the farm for us and letting us come in and, and do this test. It was cool.